Hi everyone, it's Marina from Mars Art. Uh, I just wanted to show my other journal. Um, all right, so this is my cover. I tied three of these. These are home. This is homespun yarn, and I love. While well, I love this yarn, the only thing I don't like is at the ends you can just keep pulling this stuff out. So I had to tie a knot at the end and braid it. So I want it to be a little bit thicker. I might change that later, but for right now that would be fine. Um, but this is my Halloween-inspired, steampunk-inspired, creepy-inspired journal. <laughs> but, uh, this is, um, an actual skeleton key that I bought from, um, an antique mall in Arizona. And I, it's been a keychain, it's been on a necklace, it's been on all kinds of stuff, and now it's on my journal. And this is, a uh, pocket watch that I bought on eBay, and it was awesome for a long time, and I wore it a lot, and it this battery died, so I decided to put it to use, plus I got a new one, it's bigger, so I wanted to use it, I broke the cover off, probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. <laughs> um, but this is my cover, I got this from the internet, all of the stuff I printed off, I got it from the internet for, what was it, Penny Dreadful, I think, I looked up Penny Dreadful, and there was a creepy skull, and I, I had to have it, so... I haven't watched the whole series yet, but I can't wait to. And these are the little tarot cards. Uh, gears down here, a key, and then I put some spikes at the corner and some little, some blingage. And that's the back. And inside, I did four, four pages for each signature, and there's six of them. Next time I do a journal, I think I'll do more pages in the, in the signature because that was tedious. But this is the whole card of the one I put on front, and that way I can write on it if I want to. Um, this says Dangerous Experiment Number, and it's got Creepy Scientist notes on it. Um, this is an atlas, or was a sphere, a certain kind of sphere, and I thought it was so cool, I had to have it in here. And, of course, the Lover's Terror card. And just a little flip area with some old steampunk vintage type stuff and a pocket. This is for uh, Moon Dust at Moonlight Moonlight Potions. This is tag. I made this cute little banner. I love this banner area. <laughs> um, writing areas, um, rice paper. If you watch a lot of my videos, you, or most of my videos, I don't have too many yet. But uh, I love rice paper and I have it so I keep using it. <laughs> and just an old old little cards, uh, old air balloon, and so I just stuck that down there. A doily that I distressed. Uh, more of that rice paper. Um, a pocket area and an area to write on. This is so cool because it's old uh, aromatics. It's um, plans for old ships. I thought this was super awesome, so I kept it. I printed it out. This is a little flip area that I made. Um, this is the grand experience for an air show ticket. Um, some cards that I just um, coffee dyed. And this is a homemade envelope that I dyed and cut out and made. Um, all this stuff in here is, prob is all uh, coffee dyed. And just little note cards. And this one, this one flips open. Oops. Yeah, there's, not, nothing, there's nothing in there really. This is just the area to write. Um, this is a, a journaling card that I really like, so I stuck in here with some washi tape and put a little banner, and uh, this is the edge of a doily. I just put a little half pearls in there. Over here is uh, Dr. Victor Verdit's uh, moth powder ring. I thought that was cool. There actually, some of, some of the stuff in here is a... Uh, uh, labels, but I like them, so I wanted to use them as note cards. Uh, this is Fortitude. This is on the cover, but you can't see it. It's in color. It's littler, but I printed out a bigger version so you can see it. Uh, this is a journaling card um, that I put under here. I love this. Air, I, just, I love air balloons, old air balloons, so um, you can just take that out and write in it. Of course, a little death guy. And then this is the Hermit Tarot card. And basically, the tarot cards are for writing notes on, or whatever you want, whatever I want to use it for. This is actually my journal. I want to make another one though. 
more coffee stained paper. Uh, just note cards, and this one is the world. So. And then that's an old stopwatch, or not a stopwatch, sorry, a pocket watch. Thank you, baby. Um, I love this. I made a tag out of it. It's baby dragon scales. So I put that in there with a um, a card, a note card. Uh, a vintage teacup ticket, a little banner area, and I like to make my banners so that they are flip upable, so you can write under them and stick stuff under them if you want to. Or if I want to, I guess. I love this page. Okay, it's out really pretty. More pockets. This one is for an unknown experiment or a uh, science experiment. I thought that was really cool, so I made a tag out of that one too. A little note area, and that is behind an envelope with a tag for Wolfsbane and a card for this week. So, those are really cool. Sorry. Um, and this is a bag that I... Oh, let's do this page first. This is for a Chatty Cathy potion. And I just decided to put... It's a potion label, but I put it on here. Uh, this is an armored corset, the eternal watch, and I just wanted to use it for a little pocket, so that's in here, plus a little area to write. And this bag, I uh, I mod podged this background onto it after I distressed it. I distressed the bag, and I put this on here and mod podged over that as well. So I just put stuff in there. Another little card that flips open. You can take that one out. This one is the world. It's hard to see, but uh. It's got a really pretty girl on it, and I think it's from DeviantArt. All of my tarot cards I found on Google, and I printed them off. Uh, this is another, uh, the other part of the bag, so more stuff to put in there. More copy paper. And I just, uh, uh <laughs> I'm holding my son while my fiancé films for me, because he's so awesome. Uh, and I put a, I just dressed this, uh, lace and, um, put a button on there so it's a little belly band. And golden cogs. These are so cool when you read them. And a little gear on the distressed doily. Another banner. Um, more cards. That's the sun and a star. The sun is a pocket. So in there I have little areas to write stuff. More rice paper, and this turned out really pretty. Uh, a tag. It's just, it's just a tag that I, uh, I printed out because I thought it was so pretty. I love that tag. And that's the moon. So in the same signatures, the sun, the moon, and the star. This is a pocket, another pocket area. And this is a pocket that I made and just put a whole bunch of paper in and um, a little schedule. And more pockets. Experiment number 7,567. Wow, that guy's busy. Uh, just more, <laughs> more tags and areas to write stuff. Another air balloon, uh, another pocket next to the pocket. <laughs> And this is the area that I made that flips open, and it has little note cards, and then just that. Uh, board if I want to use uh, cardstock, if I want to do mixed media or something. <laughs> Thank you for having fun. Um, rice paper, more dye paper, and then this is just another little flip, flip area. Just some buttons in the corner. Okay. More cardstock, and this is for uh, a pocket I made out of the Deadly Nightshade tag. And inside is just uh, uh, more note cards. And over here is really cool, just a little ticket area. <laughs> um, this is magic goggles and a flight barometer. Barometer, barometer. I don't know how to say that. And there's Ace of Cups and more tarot cards. Like this one is a. Uh, yeah, this one's Ace of Cups and then Death. I put the Death card in there because 
I thought it was cool. And, you know, death happens. So, I wouldn't give it to somebody else because I know people get really particular about that type of stuff. <laughs> if I were to put a death card in somebody's, car in somebody's book, they might get a little offended. Um, this is the Book of Secrets. And I just printed that out on some scrapbook paper. So, And um, this card is Wheel of Fortune, and that's on the cover as well. It's just a little mini colored version. And this is a week's, this week's schedule. Um, and more cards and places to write. And then a side pocket with another uh, journaling card. And this one says, fill this page with random items. More rice paper. And another card stock for mixed media. And just tickets. Lots of little, there's a little bird ticket. There's a uh, lemon ticket for Smith's Pharmacy. Uh, this vintage pharmacy. And then this little arm hand. Uh, sorry, a robot hand. And that sphere. I love that sphere. And here I put... Uh, <laughs> An ad for fairy, fairy jumbo pumpkins, perfect for pies carving and witches spells or potions. I love that. It's friggin' huge, but <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, and that's the last page. And the last page is the magician and strength. I thought these were really cool. And those are just go in those pockets. If my hands are all messy, it's because I was painting yesterday, so sorry about that. And this is just the back. I haven't done anything with that yet, but that is that journal. I was just inspired by looking at other people's journals and um, seeing their Halloween ideas. And it was in Hall it's Halloween inspired, but it's not exactly a Halloween journal. So, so I love this, and I'm hoping to make more. And if anyone is inter interested in swaps, you can email me at marsw23 at gmail.com or message me on YouTube. Um, if you're interested in buying a journal, you can find me there, too. I'm on YouTube and Facebook. Facebook is uh, Marina Wilson. And um, um, I would, if you like journals, I would suggest joining uh, Junk Journal Junkies. That is pretty fun. I just joined that. That looks like a lot of fun. They have challenges and all kinds of stuff. But thank you for watching, and um, I'm going to probably make more journals. Bye.